So for the first time in San Diego, we are seeing the dramatic effects of the highly controversial Supreme Court decision in allowing unlimited spending by anyone for or against candidates. Now, the political groups getting that unlimited spending are turning the money into campaign ads. Ten News followed the money trail and uncovered some interesting connections that most voters are unaware of but say they want to know. This campaign ad. Bob Filner, unfit for mayor tells you the committee behind the ad, but not who's funding that committee. The single most important issue that members of the public have contacted me about is wanting to know who is paying for disseminating campaign advertisements. San Diego Ethics Commission Executive Director Stacy Fullhorse says the big bucks now being donated to independent political groups or super PACs make transparency critical, but tracking the money is complicated. For example, public campaign filings show San Diegans for reform in opposition to Bob Filner received nearly 70% of its donations. That's $276,000 since June from the Lincoln Club of San Diego. The Lincoln Club's biggest donor in the last two months? Manchester Financial Group, headed by developer and UT owner Doug Manchester. Records also show a $65,000 donation in May to Carl DeMaio for mayor 2012 from the Republican Party of San Diego, which happens to be the same amount donated to the party by Manchester in March. Much of this now possible because of the Supreme Court's 2010 decision. It creates a challenge in terms of the disclosure laws that we currently have. Is the court saying one degree of separation is enough to eliminate the appearance of corruption? According to the Supreme Court, it does not rise to the level of creating an appearance of corruption. But candidates like DeMaio don't just reap benefits from the ruling. Super PACs against DeMaio have also popped up with more than $1.3 million in funding by labor unions. What we can do as a city and an ethics commission in response to that is to try and increase the disclosure mechanisms. Now, to that end, the Ethics Committee is recommending next week to the City Council a new rule that would require these pop-up super PACs to disclose in advertising who their top two donors are, which, si which cities and states can require despite the Supreme Court ruling. Now, to check out for yourself where the money's coming from, go to 10news.com and the red TV button for links.